just before the video starts, I would really appreciate it if you could go follow me on Instagram. I post almost daily original creepy and mysterious content which I think you guys would really enjoy. It would be a massive help. Thank you. With the release of 2017's It, one of horror movie's most terrifying characters has been given free reign to terrify a whole new generation of moviegoers. But it is not Pennywise that you should be worried about, as it turns out there are some real life clowns who make him seem tame by comparison. This video is a rundown of the top 5 creepiest clowns to have ever existed. It was a normal morning for 22 year old Marlene Warren in May of 1990 when, as she was preparing breakfast for her two young children, there was a knock at the door. Marlene was confronted by a person dressed as a clown, standing in her doorway, holding two balloons and a bouquet of flowers. The clown then pulled a gun and calmly shot Marlene in the face in front of her children. The identity and motive of Marlene's killer went unsolved and unknown for 27 years, until this year when investigators found DNA evidence and eyewitness testimonies that led to the arrest of 54 year old Sheila Warren. Even more startling was that Sheila had married Marlene's widowed husband 12 years after the murder took place and the two owned a restaurant together. Warren now faces the death penalty in Florida. While Pennywise is considered one of the most well-known killer clowns today, he, and most likely all other evil clown representations likely owe their origin to Gwyn Plain, the main character in the 1928 German expressionist film The Man Who Laughs. The film, based on a novel by Victor Hugo, stars renowned German actor Konrad Wiedt as Gwyn Plain, the main attraction of a travelling freak show whose face was disfigured as a child, leaving him with a permanent twisted grin. While the film's director intended it to be a romantic adventure, the sheer visual horror of Viet's character and his demented smile has led to it being classed as a horror film today, and it caused an uproar when it was first released, with audiences terrified by Viet's ghoulish makeup. So frightening was Viet's character, that he was the inspiration for another infamous clown, none other than Batman's arch nemesis, the Joker himself. On the night of October 19th, 1970, Robert Bennett and his fiance were driving along a lonely forest road in Fairfax County, Virginia, when they pulled over to get their bearings. As the two sat in their car, a hatchet was suddenly and violently swung through their windscreen, smashing it to bits. Before speeding away, the young couple reported that they saw their attacker briefly, a man dressed up as a children's entertainer, wearing a bunny suit who was shouting at them to get off his property. Exactly 10 nights later, security guard Paul Phillips was doing his rounds when he reported seeing a man dressed as a rabbit sitting on the steps of an unfinished house. Upon seeing him, the strange man leapt up and showed himself to be holding an axe. He then began to swing the axe in the air and chopped at the foundations of the house, screaming that if he caught anyone else trespassing, he'd bust them on the head. Police never found this strange man, despite several more sightings around the area. The only piece of evidence that he left behind was the hatchet that he threw through Robert Bennett's windscreen, which is now on display to the public. Colophobia is a term for anyone with a phobia of clowns, and 2016 was a bad year for anyone who suffered from this affliction. It was the year we saw a worldwide surge of clown sightings, with millions of people in over nine different countries reporting encounters with individuals dressed as clowns. The trend was mostly harmless, if not a little bit disconcerting, with most of the clowns simply playing a few pranks or just lurking but minding their own business. Nonetheless, the trend became popular on social media and spread across the world. However, there were some more serious incidents that took place, such as in South Carolina when a young boy reported two men dressed as clowns tried to lure him into the woods. Similarly, in Australia, a man dressed as a clown attacked two 12-year-old girls, stealing one of their phones. In other instances, arrests took place following threats made towards public schools in London and Canada by people disguised as clowns. One of the most notorious serial killers in American history, John Wayne Gacy murdered and tortured 33 teenage boys before he was eventually arrested in 1980 and sentenced to death by lethal injection. When police raided his home, they found 29 bodies buried and hidden on the property. 
Gacy posed as the lovable Pogo the Clown, a character he devised for his work as a children's entertainer. Appearing at birthday parties and charity events, nobody knew that behind Gacy's fun-loving facade, there lay the mind of an unhinged psychopath. Stephen King himself has stated that Gacy's story was an inspiration for the monstrous Pennywise. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my videos. Also, don't forget to keep in touch on all of my social media sites. The links are down below. See you next time.